Hey guys, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. I am Cat, and last episode, we went through a vault full of horrible plant monsters. And... That's kind of one there. I mean, I'm aware that a giant mantis is not exactly a plant monster. Oh, stay out. The plants kill. That would have been a great warning. As always, I've seen the warning after I'm finished. So, you know, that's exactly what I should never do, but always manage to do anyway. <laughs> But you know that's that's part of the excitement. I mean, I'm not really wasn't really surprised that the plants were killing me. But all right, so now I guess we go straight back to Camp McLaren and hope that'll stop me from being a merciful thug. If it doesn't, of course, I could have a problem very quickly. But if this doesn't work, then I'm kind of going to give up on the NCR and I'm going to go straight to I think it's Nellis Base, the next place I'm going to. So I'm going to start doing a little bit of different things with this recording. Uh, I'm just going to keep playing until I get that music scared me for a second there. It sounded like combat music like and I was like, oh what? Am I being attacked by the NCR? This is a constant fear of mine right now that the NCR are just gonna come out of nowhere and just blindside me or something. Um and you could say I'm being crazy, but I have forgotten how many days it's been since they gave me three days. So, my current strategy is still, if they find me, to run. But, I mean, that's my current strategy. Will that work? I don't think it will. Okay, so last episode you may remember that we cleared out all the horrible plant life in the vault. Um, and we got the data. We said someone else must have gotten the data, but we lied, of course, we got it. But we also saved the ghoul, whose name I cannot quite remember just yet. But we saved the ghoul, and that's all we really need to know. I sometimes wonder if the NCR soldiers just play slots on their time off. The slot machine is... not paying off. Well, you know, I, I thought we were going to make some big money there. It's unfortunately going to be pre-war money. Alright, well let's talk to the guy in charge first. Let's save before we get stuck in a doorway. Yo! I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. It seems we have you to thank You're for quite welcome. Alive. Very charitable of you. I'm a charitable guy. I brought the data from Vault 22. Wonderful. Excellent work. Let me see it. It'll take this could be very bad. This is probably a bad idea. <laughs> uh, by the way, you never warned me about the dangers in that place? Didn't I? Did you encounter undue difficulties? Clearly not. Or you wouldn't be standing here, would you? This guy's a bastard! I almost died. In fact, I did die. I multiple times. Mostly it was explosions. Yes, here it is. The data is mostly uncorrupted. This will make the board of directors finally sit up and take notice. Here then, as promised, an agreeable... Hopefully, upon delivery that information will be used for good. You've more than done your part. Wow! 1,200 bottle caps. I would be careful with that data. You didn't see the plants in the vault. Your concerns are perfectly understandable, but I assure you, they're entirely misplaced. We would never use technology that wasn't fully tested. We aren't some motley band of vault alchemists. We're with the government, for goodness sake. Have a little faith in us. I've been with the government before, and uh, faith wasn't something I exactly had in that. Anyway, I've given some technology to government military. Keely just called in. You should have heard the director. But I... Wait up. Now look here. She wouldn't let him finish a sentence. Just ringed him out for sending all those people to the vault. I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. Thanks for keeping her safe. Here's the caps I promised. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Uh, oh, that's a lot of experience, though. Nice. I have some questions. Of course. Anything. Hilderon mentioned the followers of the Apocalypse. These guys are interesting. My father used to say good things about them, but that was years ago. Back when they teach farmers and ranchers about crop rotation and the like. Nowadays, they've changed. They're doing what they can to discredit the NCR. Mm. Give us a bad name with the locals. Dr. Hildern trained with them years ago. Not me, though. I'm an OSI girl. Okay, you're an OSI girl. That's cool. Uh, right. Stay safe. I don't think that increased my reputation with the NCR at all. I think I'm still a merciful thug. Which is not good. 
It's the complete opposite of what I want it to be. Uh, NCR, still a merciful thug. They're going to start shooting me soon. Welp, I did what I could. Um, I don't think there's a requisitions officer around, but that's fine. Next next place I'm going is Nellis. Where's Nellis? Nellis Air Force Base. Uh, Crimson Caravan Company, they consider me a merciful thug as well. Alright, so off to the Nellis Air Force Base. So, you know, this is probably... I like this place. This place is always a place that's stuck in my memory. I remember what happens here. Yeah. Sounds like a gun just fell down somewhere. Anyway. To Nellis! Nellis. Questy. Questy McCheek. Uh, and... No, there was something I wanted to do there. It wasn't that one. Still in the dark, no? Yes, still in the dark. So this is for the uh, Brotherhood of Steel. Not that I'm helping them, remember. I am still going to murder every single one of those bastards for putting a bomb collar on me. Because I don't forget such things. I mean, it was lovely fashion, and I really do appreciate them trying it, but at the same time, it was a bomb collar. Uh, you know, they didn't explode it, which I appreciated, but it was a bomb collar. Uh, where am I even going? I don't even know. Uh, I guess I just follow this road. Wait, there's not even a road here to follow. Oh, there's the road. Which just... This is a shitty road. So I've only got my high-powered rifle. My cowboy repeater is completely out of ammo at the moment, but that's okay. I should be able to find a requisitions officer in uh, Nellis. That's my guess, anyway. So I just follow this road, and I should be uh, all sweet. And, yeah, it's just... I like that freeway. I've never actually seen a freeway quite like that. I think those... Um, well, we don't build roads like that in New Zealand. Our roads are very mundane and boring. Oh, some Brahmin up ahead. Uh, and probably some radiation pools. But nothing... In fact, there's something aggressive up ahead. Oh shit, it's an angry Brahmin. Is it going to attack me? Yo, Brahmin, come at me, cow. Oh shit, it's actually coming at me. Okay, heads is a target on them. Why are the, both the Brahmin after? Well, I like how you hit them in the head and it blows off both their heads. In fact, you can just sort of aim for their neck and it blows off their heads. It's very rare that I can blow off two heads with one shell, or one bullet. And I'm getting experience as well, so I'll take the meat and the experience. It's, it's pretty quality, actually. Oh, here comes another one. One for you, one for you. How much experience do I even get for killing Brahmin? Yeah, okay, we get it. I get one experience point. Okay, it's not that exciting. Uh, that Brahmin did die in a really hilarious fashion, though. So, you can tell how hilarious it is, because I laughed for quite a while after I saw it. You know, my sides still ache from all the laughter. <laughs> anyway, yeah, th these roads are always fascinating to me, because I've never seen roads like that. Um... Speaking of interesting transportation, I really like the city of Melbourne. They had, like, trains and trams everywhere. Um, in Auckland, we've got a train system, and it's it's alright. And every time they try to upgrade it, people get angry, because apparently public transportation is a bad thing. I don't know, I, I'm, I don't really follow politics, so I'm very, very lazy in that regard. But it's interesting how angry everyone gets, even though everyone wants it. You know, it's, well, it's, I guess not everyone wants it. Uh, Fields Shack. Okay, let's go into Fields Shack. I expect explosives in here. Okay, so let's quick save before we walk on a tripwire. I don't see any tripwires. That's always promising. I do see ammo boxes. Uh, uh, basketballs, teddy bears. I'll take the rounds and I'll take the cigarettes because you can sell those. Magnum rounds, sure. BBs, not particularly useful. So whoever this guy is, clearly he collects ammo. And Sunset Sarsaparilla. I don't know who that guy was, but... What is that? Oh, it's a campfire. Can I make anything? Uh, doesn't look good for making things. 
gecko back things. Yeah, I can't make anything. I'm either lacking resources or I'm lacking survival skill. But, final conclusion is I can't make anything. Alright, there was a guy up ahead. No, he's green. Okay, I can probably talk to him then. Hello, friend. How's it going? Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Uh, oh, I can speech him. You can tell me, or you can tell the underside of my boot. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you. I'm a gambler and a scavenger. And I've got a boot. I've made some cash from gambling, and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? Thanks for the warning. What's going on past these signs? Oh, lordy lord. <laughs> you haven't heard of the boomers? What rock have you been living under? There are a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory and you're as good as mincemeat. So yeah, these guys have artillery because they're based in a military camp and they're just like, hey, we've got howitzers. So they're called boomers for a reason because that's what you hear a lot. There is a way. And I'll tell you, for a little wager. <laughs> a wager? Let's hear it. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. Look, I've got a lot of money from the last time. Uh, you got yourself a bit. Okay, here you go. That page has the details but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, there's 600 caps in it if you make it. This guy's not going to be here when I get back, but I will find this guy again later, and I will kill him if he takes my money. Okay, so... The key is avoiding to avoid that there's building to building in the northwestern town front gate. Stay the high cover of the north northeastern building. Oh, there's a train tunnel that enters from the south. Well, let's let's go south. From the south seems a lot safer, so let's go from the south. Uh, of course, I have a funny feeling that he's in, even entering this way is probably going to get me blown up. I'm trying to go south. Just leave me alone, boomers. I don't like every time I take a step forward, I just hear a sound. Maybe I can just jump over this. Shit! Son of a bitch! Okay, bad idea, bad idea. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have stopped there where there's a crater. Clearly they can hit that spot. Okay, uh, boomers. They are kind of deadly. Also, I've lost a leg. And I am dead. Okay. So, south. Let's go south the other way around. <laughs> Jeez. Those fiend junkies over at Vault. I say kill them all. Okay, south. Let's go the safer way. Safer way sounds like the best way. <laughs> that was far more artillery than I was expecting. I've done this before, but I did not expect that level of artillery. Uh where is this? Train tunnel. I imagine the train tunnel's around here. Oh, well, if I follow the tracks, I'll find a train tunnel. Well, if I start seeing craters, I'm stopping and turning around. Or if I hear the artillery firing again. Okay, I'm hidden. Maybe yeah, I'm not liking this, that sound. But they shouldn't be able to see me. I'm hidden. Stuff that, stuff that, stuff that, stuff that. Alright. Uh, not that way. That bad... No, terrible way. Terrible way. Bad way. Don't want to go that way. Worst way. <laughs> oh gosh, that's scary. That is so scary. Uh, so... Hopefully, I can, it'll probably be like locked or like needed. So last day on Earth, huh? Getting your affairs in order? 
Or are you still trying to work on that bad reputation of yours? The NCR just wants to be friends, but you don't seem to want to play nice. See you tomorrow. <sighs> I tried. I helped so many people. Well, these NCR Rangers I'll see tomorrow, I suppose. See you tomorrow, guys. Oh, gosh. I may need to take drugs to win that fight. And then they'll be attacking me every couple of days after that, so... You know, this is not what we want to see. But it's what we've got. It's a situation we've come into for trying to clear out some mercenaries. This is possibly the worst idea I've made all game. But, you know, sometimes you make bad mistakes in life, and... You know, that's part of the fun of a role-playing game. You make a bad mistake and you live with it. Some people would say that's actually not a good idea. Like, it's a video game, you shouldn't have to make a mistake and then live with it, because that's called life. But... Yeah, I don't really care. I, I like... Is that a tiny Brahmin? <gasps> it's a Brahmin calf! You're adorable! And malnourished. Okay, so Raul's shack. Well, there's another shack here. This one belongs to Raul. First check the floor. Make sure it's not trapped to hell. So far, so good. Uh, I think I just picked up a wrench accidentally. One thing of the uh, Sky... Well, not Skyrim, but... The, this engine has always allowed you to pick up things by complete mistake, which is a big problem. I'm going to blame the engine for that, because it's just too easy to accidentally pick up the wrong thing. And they're all like that. I mean, ever since uh, Morrowind... Uh, yeah, Morrowind did that as well. But uh, Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, all the games that have used this engine... Uh, all have that really bad thing of you mouse over the wrong thing for a second and then you realize I'm oh wait, no the train tracks end over this way but then you realize it's really not that useful, like it's easy to pick up things but it's perhaps too easy to pick up the wrong things alright, this looks promising and it's going to say you need like 80 lock picking skill I'm waiting for that already or you need a key let's see, what do you want with the door and needs a hundred lock picking skill. Okay. Oh shit! Rattlesnake dogs? No. Oh, it's a death claw. Fuck, that's worse. Okay, shoot it in the leg. Maybe it'll go away. I mean, it's only a young one, so maybe. Oh, it's going away. Yeah, you run, you stu- <gasps> Fuck. Here comes Mama. Mama, young Deathclaw. I'm gonna die to these Deathclaws, aren't I? No, it's running away. Yeah, you better run, bitch. He's afraid. Look at him. Look at him cower in fear. I'm almost expecting him to turn around now. Oh, he turned around a little bit. Wait, hang on. 50 experience points, thank you very much, sir. I will gladly... Did Death Claws even drop anything? I think there's another one coming. Probably the one I hurt before. Uh, no, they don't. Well, that's... They're just really hard to fight and they offer nothing tangible. Brilliant. Okay, we're going to go back to Fields Shack, and then we're going to take the Northwestern Way like he w I was told. So that was a little bit of an, a little bit pointless, unfortunately. But, you know, we tried to go the easy way without having to go through... Uh, I almost said nukes. They're not nukes at all, are they? Oh god, imagine if they were firing nukes. That would be terrifying. But they're not firing nukes, so let's not worry about what they could be firing. I mean, they could be firing a lot of things. Dead cows, people, children, babies, bottles, skulls. Oh, they could be firing skulls at me. Oh, that would be the Halloween patch. And as they do it, they go, spooky. Okay, 
So we want to hug this wall. Oh, yep, here they go. Doing it again. Shit. Shit, this is not helping. I may need to look at that paper again. I'm in the open. Oh. Okay, let's look at that bit of paper again, because I think I had to wait in the buildings when they weren't firing. <laughs> okay, let's actually read the strategy this time. We can do this. This is, this is easy. Come on, we killed Deathclaw. How hard could it be? Okay. So move from building to building on the northwest side of the town towards the front gate. Stick to the high cover in the northeast corner of the two buildings. So northwest is here. So stick to the high ground and go from building to building. The northeast corner of the two buildings. Okay, well first off... Oh! So do I go around them? Do I sort of go around the base? Well first things first, let's get some more health. Uh, we'll drink some more dirty water because... I like it dirty. I disclaimer: I don't really like it dirty. You can decide what I'm talking about there. Am I talking about water? Am I talking about sex? It's up to you. What do you believe? Well, clearly, this building's helping. Oh shit, okay, I think they are firing mini nukes. Oh no, they're hitting cars. Okay! Ah, uh, we're a little bit in. The next building is... Over there, let's go. Ow! Oh god. Oh god. Ah, I don't like this at all. Oh, and I got concussion. Brilliant. I do not like this even slightly. Okay. What did they take out of mine? Because they did. Oh, they took out my leg. Okay, we're going to need to use a doctor's bag on that. I don't really get a choice. Uh, we're gonna... Is there drugs that allow me to move faster? I wonder if I can even stealth boy through this. You know what? Let's try stealth boying through this. I don't imagine it'll work, but let's try it anyway. I'm not hearing any fire. Yes, I am. I'm almost at the gate. I'm almost at the gate. Ah! Ah, the concussion! I hope they have doctors here! Okay, what does this say? Restricted area, no trespassing past this point. Blah blah blah, trespassing, blah blah blah, shoot you in the goddamn face. Okay, so I don't think the stealth boy actually helped, but whatever, we used it and we threw. And we're just going to stay really close to this fence, so that way they won't fire more artillery at me. Hey, there's a guy here. He's holding a rocket launcher. Jeez, this place is pretty hardcore. Hold it right there. Don't you move. Oh no, a fence is talking to me. you survived that bombardment? Simple enough. Run, hide, run. It's all in the timing. But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Well, Move Fiend. Muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. I didn't come here to attack you. Then just, just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. Look, I'm looking at a fence very closely. I'll take this from here. Hey, Raquel. I'm Raquel, master at arms for the Nellis homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. What's a master at arms? I oversee the security of the Nellis homeland. From the coordination of its defense to the training and fitness of its population. 
So the fact we're having this conversation means you failed, right? Let's not be an asshole. These guys have a lot of ordnance. Are you going to confiscate my weapons? Confiscate your weapons? Certainly not. Personal armament is the foundation of social trust and responsibility. Who is Mother Pearl? As I said, she is our eldest. Mother Pearl has lived at Nellis from the start and has the wisdom of her age. She said that this day would come and that any savage to reach our gate should be brought to her. All right, then lead the way. Follow close and mind your behavior. I shall do so. Oh, why wow, you just gonna teleport me there? Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. All right, guys. Well, given the fact that we're kind of running late and I don't know how long it's going to take, I'm going to end this episode here. And I will see you next time where we talk to Mother Pearl and find out what the hell's going on. See you next time.